Hello, 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 hello. So let me try and get my headset. I don't know. Recently, my headset has been misbehaving. I have to like twist and turn. Uh, I guess it's just the cord that I have to replace. But my fear is that, excuse my fear is if I replace this, if I replace the cord, if I'll be able to get authentic one like this. Oh my gosh, is it, is it like a huge hustle for me, but yeah. So today's video is actually from Officer Tatum. It's Officer Tatum slams Red Pig community for destroying young men. Ooh, I love the fact that he went to whatever podcast. Um, um, so he's a, um, Candice Owen went, now um, Officer Tatum. I love this and I wish they would bring more people. I don't actually watch the podcast because I don't like... The guests they usually bring in the those they know ah the first one I wore I think that one just made me to exit ah that Kiko or something Kiko like oh that Kiko was so annoying how do men cope with girls like that oh God forgive me but let's check out the video guys but a lot of young men and I've seen it on these shows they tell young men go out get with all these women run it up and do all these things women aren't you shouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't tell a young man that. It's not mm. conducive for a young man's growth to be a hoe. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Get the merch link in the description section. It's funny. I was at Jason Aldean's concert last night, and people were loving this shirt. They were loving this shirt. It was so much attention towards this shirt. It was. I was like, why don't I wear this shirt more? I didn't think that people would like this as much as some of the other ones, but people love this shirt. And I went to a coffee place today, to be honest. I was a little nervous, but the young lady was so respectful. She was so awesome, and I gave her an incredible tip because they shared a tip in the whole coffee place. So I gave her a really, really good tip. Um, but I was wondering, because I know they liberal in there. If they saw this, would they not want to serve me? Because I was going to go viral if they did. But anyway, get you one of these shirts, take them store, like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into this. Really I nice think you guy. should date within your maturity. And I know my wife yeah, is on the is. chat. I seen her. Hey, baby. Uh -huh. um, you got you to gotta date within your maturity. You and him may be on the same level, even though it's a different of ages. And I, I would hate for him to be listening to guys online and not, not L you. L listen, to, listen to the guys online. Him, no, him to listen to, like, you know, the people that... We sure, mentioned sure, at the beginning sure. of the show yeah. that tell a young man is that she has no value at 28. She's been ran through and yeah. it's like, no, don't don't really take that. Talk to her, figure out what her story is, and, and that may be the greatest connection you've had and y'all live to be married for 45 Yay. years. Uh, and you may only have two kids. <laughs> yeah. You, you, you're in the window where you can have plenty of kids. So people shouldn't try to think of that too soon. It's not worth it. Mm -hmm. I see, I just saw a woman on Instagram she had five kids starting at 38. She had 38, yeah, uh, 39, 40. She, her last kid was 44 years old. Yeah. So Courtney Kardashian. that dude ain't mad. Is that dude mad that she's 44 years old having kids? And he ain't mad. His life, is, his life is happy. You can have kids. But just to bring it back to this, I mean, so you're saying why do men seek to date and marry girls way younger than them? But you in pretty recently, you said within two years, you dated the guy who was 14 years your yeah. senior. So like there's two parts of this equation. Like it takes two to tango. It ha I think it happens to be the case that there's a decent subset of women that are attracted to older men. True. And in the same way that young, in the same way that men are attracted to younger women, younger women are attracted to older men. And if you look at the average age of marriage, I think it's men are about two years older for the average age of, it's like, I don't know, 20, 30 or 29 for men, 27 for women. Mm -hmm. So it just happened, and most women typically, I would say, date men that, it might not be an extreme gap, but are one, two, three years older than them. Mm -hmm. You typically see that play out. I think it just happens to be the case that men are attracted to younger women, women are attracted to older men. Now, I mean, there's obviously bigger and bigger age gaps that we can talk about, but um, it's just, it's okay when you do it. Like, no, it's okay for you to no. date an older guy, but what you're upset that men within your own age group are dating women who are in their 20s. No. But you're stealing, you are basically stealing a 45, 44 year old guy from a woman who's in her 40s. In the same way that a 20 year old woman is stealing 30 year old men from you. She may steal the 20 year, 20, 
three. I may three steal year old. some twenty-three year old man, sure. you know. But, but women, women do want older men. I mean, my wife told me when we were first. We weren't even dating, but I was interested. Young. I was. She said oh, she was too young. young. I was interested in her. We were on a three-way text message. My friend tried to, you know, he tried to play matchmaker. He didn't tell her I was on the text, and he said, "Oh man, what's up with you and Brandon?" And she was like, "Oh, he's really nice, but." You know, I'm looking for a guy that's like 10 years older than me. So my wife was right. looking for somebody in their 40s. I think women are so, men are but not because she like didn't that. stick to that whole thing, she ended up meeting the man of her dreams that happened to be four or five years younger than her. Gotcha. And I was looking, but but me me, I was, I'm attra- I'm I'm more attracted to a younger woman, not a woman in her 40s, unless she's in incredible shape. But I didn't stick to that model. I said I'm gonna go with the my woman that too. that matches my life, and that's what I did. Word. And there's just like I, I also don't think with with the the woman dating an older man, that's like a it's still positive about the status of the older man. The narrative, what I think is problematic is that the narrative about the younger women is that there is this knock on women on on women on older women. Do you, do you see what I mean? It's like it, it's like it's like and there's this con, and there's a narrative about on some of these podcasts that like. W- Older women are are lower value, so that the point that like a twenty nine year old, I feel like I'm yeah, the senior citizen, and well, and that's the, not so the, look, a net the, positive the, for society. The rea- you're not as a human being. We're not mm-hmm. talking about your value as a human being. We are talking though. There's just realities when it comes to the dating marketplace, mm-hmm. and if we're talking about the dating marketplace, and we're talking, we're having conversations of who is more valuable in the dating marketplace. In the same way that a guy who's six feet is probably more valuable on the dating marketplace than the guy who's five three, it's just an it's just the reality. Like there's all kinds of things that might make you more valuable in the dating marketplace. And as you age, yeah, you're just not only for I, women. I, well, I no, actually it's, think it's I, true though. It's true though because and, and I see I what people it. are saying with the podcast. They got to be careful the way they say it, but. What the encouragement is is for young women to be more serious about their dating when they're younger I agree. than to play and play and play and you're 35 with all this baggage and then you expect to get a man that's, that's far yeah. beyond that. So I get it. So women should, should understand mm-hmm. to a certain degree that you do need to be intentional yeah. more in, in dating yeah, cause I and was, not wait till you later I, you know, later I, we a lot, and I know a lot of girls in my case we were told, focus on your education. Go get your bachelor's. Go get your master's. You were sold a lie. You were sold a lie. Yeah, and now I'm, oh, I'm yeah, and so now I'm adding value to myself, but it's a value that I'm told is not, is not but, but, valuable. But, but tw- you're 29. Somebody's an idiot to think that somehow you don't have value at your age. You, you're talking about women that may be on the cusp of worrying when they get into their late 30s. That's where women probably should worry because the likelihood of having children, things like that become a lot more complicated. 29 years old. Well, I bet there's some people in the chat that are They're they're probably single, but you know, (laughs) you're a baby. Compared to life and adulthood, you're you're a kid, you're not even 30 yet. You still got a long way to go. These, some of these immature men may be a little self-conscious about their options or whatever the case may be. They may think that, oh, because she's 29, she slept with all these men, and they get they get bombarded with that stuff in their mind. You, women should never be foolish enough to think that in your 20s that you somehow, these young boys ain't the man for you. You know, you need to get a real man that's, that's mature enough and that understand the value that you have and that's willing to forgive you for, for what you've been through, not painting the picture of you amongst all these other women. I'm telling you, the, the guys that the guys that do this online, and I know they hate me, they're single. They're single, and they try to tell a, a, a young. They, they're telling these young men these things, and they're single. They're not qualified, in my opinion, to only have the the mic. Sure. I think young men should listen to podcasts. They should listen to these men. They should also listen to men who are married. Yeah. <laughs> because it, it takes a little bit of sacrifice, a little bit of maturity, a little bit of growing up as a man to actually officially marry somebody. But sure. but when you can't just, these young men can't get bombarded with this because they start to give up hope. And they look at these women as like damaged goods. Not every woman is, is sleeping around and getting ran through right. and, and have a crazy body count. It, it's, there are women that do it. Avoid those women. You should be able to. You should be able to have a conversation with a woman and know, oh, your body count is high. 
then don't give her another body count. Move on to another woman. But a lot of young men, and I've seen it on these shows, they tell young men, go out, get with all these women, run it up, and do all these things. Women aren't, you shouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't tell a young man that. It's not conducive for a young man's growth to be a hoe. Just because the difference between men and women. Because women do it and they get shamed for it. Men do it, they get celebrated for it. it. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the world believes. You do not want to be a damaged young man. And you do not want to fall into the trap of being single forever. Exactly. Because these young men are going to be single because we just telling them, oh, she's 35, 30, 30, a 28 year old woman is great for this young man. She got her stuff together, she's mature. Maybe she had a little life, she's over it. She, she add incredible value, but because she's 28 and he can't have kids with her and can't have her future, he's gonna walk away from that woman and go to a mature 21 year old and then get a, end up getting a divorce. I, I, I hope I'm not ruining your show. No, not at all. Uh-oh. Alvin Sam donated oh, $500. Mute brand. Is that <laughs> Somebody donated five hundred dollars to mute uh, Brandon because he's saying it. But the thing is that, guys, let's face it. This is a hard pill to swallow. Actually, uh, I've seen a lot of podcasts of all these young guys. The way they are talking, like it seems as if okay for the man, go and do whatever you want to do. But see, forget three o. Don't get near the three o three o fours. How do you guys call it? But then you are telling the guys to be three o fours, but like it, there's no balance. There's no balance. Forgetting that fact, I've seen girls that are 27, 28, even 30, that are still virgins. I even know of two. Two guys get, they're not, they're not even sleeping around. But you see, what those guys are saying, that once she's 28, she's 30, ah, forget it. These are damaged goods. Like, I don't really understand that. They're just generalizing and the, the advice is not balanced. I understand that feminism has fought a lot of girls, but then that does not mean that everybody, every girl out there is just like, that they're bad and and it brings me to another side that when it comes to giving advice dating advice marriage advice single girls and single men they are not eligible to give advice on on those topic let's face it they are not married yet they don't even know what it what it takes to keep a marriage you, you guys think it's a bed of roses why do you think there are so many divorces happening left right center back why do you think like that it takes People that are genuine, that want to make it work to stick together as a couple. Those are the people that are supposed to be giving advice. People that have you know, stuck together for years in their old age. Those are the ones we should be taking advice from. Not the ones that one year, two year, three years, they're coming to give me advice on marriage. Come on, go and sit down with Benny. What, what do you know you want to advise me on? You can share your experience so far. What you've learned in your three years, five years, even ten years of what you've learned so far. Not come up giving us advice. Because I've seen people, even after 25 years, are still divorcing. Especially in the West. Single, if you are a single man, you have no right to be giving people marital advice. No. Because you've not done it. What do you know you are, that you're advising people on? I don't see it. Like, I genuinely do not see it. Yeah, and again, I love what you said that date on your maturity level. I love the way you put it because this is something I've been, I don't know, I've not been able to articulate myself enough to say it. And that is, to me, that's key. That's key. See, maturity is a big deal for me, guys. It's a big deal. And if you are that, if you are the type that like intelligence is a big deal for you, I, I you guys will understand what Officer Sato is saying. Date on your maturity level, don't because you want to get married, then now. Nah, Come say yes to whatever and anybody that comes your way. No. Yeah, and 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 I and I feel that naturally women want older guys, and men want younger women. And I think it's that's how it has been, and nature has always been playing us. So when I see people complain, I think it's the women that tend to be complaining. But that's how. That's how it has been. Even the women that are complaining, if you ask them, give them the opportunity, they'll choose older men. So I don't even understand them complaining. Like, then again, we women, like, we are not to be double standard. Like, we, we like to eat our cake and still have it. I don't even know if I'm making sense, but on the, at the end of the day, guys, go for somebody that you know that when she push comes to show, you, no matter come what may, you'll be able to hold, hold on with that person. It's like, when you stand to make that vow, for do 
Is it for for better or worse for do or die? I think I know the vows, but <laughs> but when you make those vows, you should choose someone that ah. I chose right. Even when you when you are you guys are having this agreement, you look at the person saying, but I still thank God it's you at the end of the day. Nothing beats that. Nothing will ever beat that. But and I know another thing that men are very visual people. They tend to like go by looks, forgetting that few years down the line, especially when the woman start giving birth, that body and the looks will change. So does that mean that that's like people people are dating and married based on superficial things like that's that that things used to ick me so much and tomorrow you see them two years three years five years oh we we drifted apart that's rubbish to me what you're saying that you guys married on superficial level yeah no value no aligned values and when you don't have aligned values you always drift apart it's as simple as that but people don't accept that truth but it's very very easy yeah yeah guys yeah, I'm still very single, but I know what I want, so... And, and I know the people I'll take advice from. That does not mean, that does not negate the fact that there are people that intelligently, like, they know how to, you know, communicate what they've been seeing. Like, there are people that learn from observation very well. Yeah! Those people, like, they can teach their learnings, I understand that. But, when it comes to giving marital advice, know who you are listening to. It's very important. Even dating advice, know who you are listening to. Guard your hearts. Bye, guys.